right now on Fox 35 News at 10. New at 10, recycling plastic bottles is, of course, good for the environment. But what if there were a better way? Fox 35's Keith Landry shows us a local company that wants to create a new type of plastic that breaks down naturally into the earth. Corn is the great American crop. We eat it at dinner. We use it to make sweeteners and many things we eat and drink. Now, a Winter Park company wants to use corn stalks to make biodegradable plastic. It has the ability to change the world. Lee Straits, the CEO of U.S. Bioplastics. Straits says many items made from petroleum-based plastic take hundreds of years to degrade in our landfills. Strait claims the plastic his company is developing will break down within decades. We can take plastic that contaminates our planet and now have a plastic that it, it gets into the environment will degrade in contact with water and over a period of time release antioxidants and fully degrade. Straits plan, earth-friendly items we would use every day. Spoons, knives, forks, bottles, um, film, plastic bags. Dr. Stephen Miller is an associate professor of chemistry at the University of Florida. He's helping U.S. bioplastics perfect the chemistry to make plastic from corn stalks, sugar cane stalks, sugar beet pulp, and paper making byproducts. There's a molecule common to all of these agricultural wastes called ferulic acid. We have a process that will extract this ferulic acid. That ferulic acid will be converted into gato resin, a polymer which will make biodegradable plastic. The items will eventually break down when they come in contact with water. It will be biodegradable. In fact, it will be not just biodegradable, it will be water degradable, meaning that floating in the middle of the ocean, even without life and oxygen there to degrade it, it will degrade slowly over time. Ferulic acid is an antioxidant. It will be released into the environment as bioplastics break down. Miller says the business model works because farm waste is cheap. We're talking about a dollar per pound, a penny per bottle. These are the kinds of costs you have to get to to compete with the petroleum based plastics that are already out there. Straight worked with the Innovation Hub at the University of Florida to develop his ideas. He plans to sign a contract with a national company soon to build a pilot facility to design prototype plastics. The entrepreneur hopes for full production within a few years to help solve America's plastic problems. What we're doing is completely unsustainable. So we have to get on a path of sustainability here and this product here will make that happen. In Winter Park, Keith Landry, Fox 35 News. By the way, Professor Miller claims that ferulic acid, which will be the basis for the plastic, is a, a healthy antioxidant that you can buy as a nutritional supplement. Sonny was just telling me all about it. Mm -hmm. He says there's lots of ferulic acid in brown rice. I, I said it's a, it's a popular additive in, in skincare products because, you know, it helps to helps mitigate the bad effects of the sun. Which we're is? getting a lot of. We have been getting a lot yes. of that. Yeah, right now we're getting